Good day everyone. So today I'm going to show you on how to determine the parts and properties of a parabola given vertex and focus only. So the first thing that we need to do is we have we need to plot or sketch the given parts which is the vertex and focus on our inner Cartesian plane. So since vertex is located at 5 negative 2, so the vertex is here. And our focus is located here. So this is our vertex and this is our focus. Since we already know that the focus should always be inside the parabola, then it implies that our parabola opens to the right. Thus, our desired standard equation is the equation y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times quantity x minus h. And based on our given graph, we can also determine the focal, dis the dis the focal distance, which is actually the distance from vertex to focus. Thus, our parameter c is equal to 2. And based on the definition of a parabola, the distance from any point of the parabola is equal to the distance from that same point to the directrix. So since vertex is also a point on the parabola, then the distance from vertex to focus is also equal to the distance from vertex to the directrix. Thus, vertex to directrix is also equal to 2. So we will count two units, left side of the vertex, 1, 2. So this is our directrix. Now observe that our directrix intersects the x-axis at this point. So the equation of our directrix is x equals 3. And since we, we already have c which is equal to 2, meaning we can also determine the length of the lattice rectum, which is actually the 4C in our standard equation. So just substitute the value of your C as 2. So 4C is equal to 4 times 2. So the length of, our, of the lattice rectum is equal to 8. Take note that our lattice rectum is a line segment connecting two points of the parabola and it passing through the focus and parallel to our directrix. So, since our lattice rectum is 8 units, therefore, the distance from focus to the first endpoint of the lattice rectum is 4, and focus to the second endpoint of the lattice rectum is also equal to 4 units. So, we will count 4 units above the focus and 4 units below the focus. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. So, and we will notate that 1 as E sub 1 or N point sub 1. And, and again, we will count 4 points below the focus. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and this is our E sub 2. Thus, the coordinate of E sub 1 is 7 positive 2 and the coordinate of our E sub 2 is 7 negative 6. So this is our lattice rectum and the length of this lattice rectum or the what we call the focal diameter is equal to 8 units. So if we will sketch our parabola, this is our parabola that opens to the right. So the next thing that we need to determine is the, what we call the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry, this is a line that divides the parabola into two equal parts. And this line passes through the points vertex and focus. Thus, this is our axis of symmetry. Observe, the upper portion of the parabola is equal to the lower portion of the parabola. And our axis of symmetry intersects the y-axis at this value. So our equation, or at this point, so our, the equation of 
the axis of symmetry is y equals 2. I mean, y equals negative 2. So these are the parts and properties of the parabola. We are given... We are given vertex and focus. So the coordinate of the endpoints for the latostectum is 7, 2, and 7, negative 6. The equation of our directrix is x equals to 3. The equation of our axis of symmetry is y equals negative 2. So the equation or the standard equation of the given parabola is the quantity y plus 2 squared is equal to 8 times the quantity x minus 5. 